Hi friend! Today we're going to cover something super useful for Kindle users. Whether you're looking to change the Amazon account on your device, start fresh by registering a new account, or even preparing your Kindle for a new owner by unregistering it, I've got you covered. We'll also tackle some troubleshooting tips in case things don't go as smoothly as planned. And if you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel so it gives me motivation to make more educational content like this one. Let's dive right in. First up, deregistering your device. To remove your Kindle from your Amazon account, Start by pressing the three dots in the top right corner of your Kindle screen and go to settings. From there, select your account, then choose deregister device. You will need to confirm the prompt that warns you about removing the device from your account, which will also delete some of the content. This process may take a few minutes. Once it's finished, you will be back at the home screen where you will notice that your library items are no longer visible and you will be prompted to register your Amazon account again. Alternatively, if you prefer to deregister from the Amazon website, you can do that too. Just go to the Amazon website for your region, open your account settings from the top right and select manage your content and devices. Then click on the devices tab, find your Kindle and select deregister. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete the process. Next, let's talk about registering your Amazon account on your Kindle. If your Kindle isn't registered to an Amazon account, you won't be able to see your library and the home screen will prompt you to register right away. Just press the option to register. You can either log in with your Amazon credentials or set it up using the Kindle app on your phone. I recommend using your phone for an easier setup. Here's how you do it. Open the Kindle app on your phone, go to the More tab, then Settings, and turn on Amazon device simple setup. Make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. Then get started on the Kindle app and choose Link and Continue. Once your devices are connected, choose the Wi-Fi network you want your Kindle to use. If you've saved your Wi-Fi password on Amazon before, you won't need to type it in again. Once the process is done, you will see a success screen on your phone. Then just turn back to your Kindle and continue the setup there. It's that easy. Now let's move on to re-register your device. To re-register your Kindle to a different Amazon account, just follow the same steps we covered to deregister the device. Once that's done, you can register your Kindle with Amazon account using the step we've just discussed. Before we jump into troubleshooting, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Subscribing is the best way to stay up to date with all the latest how-tos and solutions for your Kindle device. So go ahead, click that subscribe button and let's keep your tech running smoothly. Lastly, let's cover some troubleshooting tips if you're having trouble registering or deregistering your Amazon account. First, make sure your Amazon account has a name added to it. You can check this by going to the Amazon website, opening the account dropdown at the top right and clicking on your account profile. Also, make sure your Kindle has the correct date and time. You can check this in settings under device options, then date and time. Also, confirm that your Kindle's Wi-Fi is enabled and working by opening the web browser and loading any website. Make sure your Kindle has the latest software update by going to Settings, Device Options, and then Software Updates. And lastly, if you're having trouble with your Amazon password, try logging in to your Amazon through a browser on your laptop or phone or any other device to make sure it's correct. That's it for covering your Kindle registering process. But did you hear about the cool Kindle accessory that increased the amount of reading I do? If not, head to this video to learn more. And if you'd like to learn how to make a cool screensaver like this one, or maybe get a couple of them free as I offer some, head to this video. And if this video helped you, please like and subscribe to the channel and don't hesitate to comment if you have any other questions. I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.